Welcome back! Seems Roger is now a space cadet here at this Star Confederacy Academy. Let's take a look at some of the ships that are apparently waiting in this docking bay. This one looks strangely familiar. This aging behemoth has outlived its intended lifespan by several decades, and will soon be heading for the scrapyards. Well, that's a shame, because it looks like the Enterprise to me. An Alpha-class strike fighter from the Colony Worlds. This baby has it all. Speed, maneuverability, and enough firepower to blast apart a comet. Too bad you'll probably never even get within shouting distance of one in your natural lifetime. It seems the narrator still has a very high opinion of us. The Starcon Registry lists this ship as the personal launch of Ambassador Beatrice Wenkmeister from the G6 Squadrant. You dimly recall hearing her name once before, but the effort to remember anything further results in nothing more than a storm of misfired brain synapses and a dull headache. Hmm, Beatrice Wankmeister. The observant might notice that that's actually the name of Roger's future wife. From Space Quest 4. Could it be that she is around? Ships of every size and description occupy the docking bay. Can we look at the people? Astro techs bustle about the ships in the Academy landing bay. What this... A small janitorial closet is situated at one end of the hallway. Of course, we cannot have... Um, uh, uh, a Space Quest game without janitorial closets. Can we go in there? You don't have the time to waste mucking about in the closet right now. Even though that is actually Roger's favorite pastime, isn't it? Mucking about in janitorial closets. Hmm. Well, let's see what else we can find around here. A couple more ships, and a hallway leading east. Oh, that's... yeah. We've seen that message before. This hallway leads to the Academy's main rotunda. Well, we'll check that out later. This space station serves the Star Confederation. I thought it was the Star Confederacy, anyway. That's both its major academy and an important... Oh. <laughs> I wasn't quick enough. Twelve full-sized Star Cruisers can be outfitted simultaneously in the massive Starcon vehicle bay making it the second largest structure of its kind in the known universe, according to Guinea's Log of Galactic Records. Let's see what these ships are. This three-man fighter was captured from the dreaded Pirates of Pestilon during their daring attempt to escape the confines of Space Quest 3. Uh-huh. Well, they should stay in the game they came from. These are apparently the things that uh, followed us around. Tried to shoot us down, and actually did in my Let's Play. A Delton frigate from the G6 Quadrant. Hopefully a ship like this will one day be yours, provided, of course, that you make it through the Starcon Academy's rigorous training regimen. Well, that's gonna take a bloody miracle. Named for his beloved wife, this sleek corvette called Lady Plus Bucker is reserved for the Academy Commandant's use exclusively. Recently, several freshmen were disciplined for scandalously altering the ship's name as a cadet initiation prank. I don't see what you need to alter about that name to make it scandalous, but anyway. Well, let's uh, keep heading uh, south. Looks like this is a circular hallway, so I guess we should eventually get back to where we came from. More ships! This patrol craft was damaged in a skirmish with smugglers on the rim of the galaxy and is currently undergoing a major overhaul. Fortunately, it suffered less damage than the ship Roger tried, le tried to place in hyperspace before leaving space dock. See, Roger is doing as well as ever. This bulk cargo freighter contains supplies for the colony on Clorox 2. Hmm. I wonder if we'll ever see that place. Trainers like this one are used to instruct cadets in basic spaceflight techniques. Due to a relative lack of skill by cadets, these ships suffer a high rate of attrition. Especially when they put Roger, uh... Oh. The current record for number of ships wrecked stands at three and is currently held by Roger, which includes a notable incident where he totaled the ship without even leaving the hangar. Odds are two to one among his classmates that Roger will break his own record before graduating. 
Yeah, Roger isn't doing so hot. I don't see how he could possibly graduate. This is the door to conference room A. Can we look inside? This window looks into the conference room. Currently, there is some kind of meeting going on. I wonder what happens. Your security clearance is too low to enter this room. In fact, it's so low you need a pass just to go to the restroom. Okay, that's low. That's really low. You've always wondered what this panel does, but have never been able to figure out its function. The explanation was probably given in one of the many class lectures slept away during your tenure here at the Academy. That might be the case. Are there actual places we can go in this uh, academy? More ships. This sleek little beauty is for sale. It can be yours for a mere 10,000 buckazoids. Dial 1555 Good Cars and ask for Fester Blatz. Hey, wasn't he the guy who ran World of Wonders? This ship once belonged to the two guys from Andromeda, but was seized when one of them walked out on his 10,000 buckazoid tap in the Academy Lounge. Probably Scott Murphy then, because I don't think Mark Crow would put that text in, in about himself. The SCS Lollipop. A good ship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for sale items, Academy social events, and scores for the SAT tests, when they become available, are posted on this bulletin board. Ooh, the SAT test, that sounds important. This door leads to one of the Academy's classrooms. Currently, the students in your Space Piloting 101 class are taking the Starcon Aptitude Test. I guess that's the SAT test. Shouldn't we be taking that to them? Fellow members of the tightly knit Sarkon Cadet Brigade. And this does not have a message. This locker is used by various professors to store teaching aids for their respective classes. Okay, let's see if we can go into the classroom, because that test sounds important, so we probably should take it. Sorry I'm late, Professor. You mean the... <coughs> Stark on aptitude test is today? Yes, sir. I'll get started right away. What's that? Come talk to you after class? Yes, sir. Uh-oh, we have to take a test, and we haven't studied. Oh, let's see, maybe we can wing it. Um, let's see. Gronko is commanding a Nova-class scout ship when he finds himself face-to-face -face with three Horak Bell cruisers. He should A. Surrender in the face of impossible odds. B. Pretend they aren't there. C. Activate his ship's self-destruct mechanism, also known as the Janeway solution. D. Beam over a pick-you-up bouquet. Or E. Reboot. Uh, I don't know. What do we do? I haven't studied! And no, this isn't copyright protection, in case you were wondering. Um, well, I guess it would probably be A. But I don't want to just guess here. I think that would be uh, would end badly. So, what would any self-respecting cadet do in this situation? Cheat, of course! But there is a droid. Currently, the Proctormatic 9000 is not scanning you. If you're gonna make a move, now is the time. A Proctormatic 9000 anti-cheat droid floats malevolently about the classroom, maintaining a vigilant lookout for any student hijinks during the SAT test. Currently, the droid is monitoring you with its visual scanners. Best keep your eyes on your own test. Yes, we should um, only cheat when he's not looking, and you really do want to uh, do that. Because um, if you don't, well, you get expelled in a rather literal manner. So let's see if I try to cheat. 
while he's looking. Uh oh, busted. And they flash you out the airlock. Maybe you should have taken the correspondence course. Right. So only cheat when he's not looking. Well, I guess we'll have to do that in the next video.